Now for my very special strawberry and cream shortcake. Of course, you always have to start off with these wonderful Louisiana strawberries. And these are the ones that I helped to pick. What you have to do, you just go ahead after you have rinsed them off. Mm, this is so tempting. I want to eat it. I never could um, put up strawberries in my freezer because if I bought a flat to put up, I ended up eating half of it. So I just added this to, uh, you know, to my bowl that I had already cut up, which for time elements, you know, and probably for eating purposes also, I, I didn't allow myself to do that. So you go ahead and you mash them, you know, sort of uh, slightly. You don't have to have it pureed. Just go ahead and mash them just gently, just like this, with a pastry blender. There are many uses for pastry blenders, trust me. Okay, now. This is fine, that's good enough, because you don't want them too, too fine, okay? All right, then next you add your sugar, which is regular granulated sugar, and your powdered sugar, which is very good. It enhances the flavors of those strawberries. Mmm, you make sure they're well coated. Then to this, I'm going to add some vanilla flavor. All right, mmm. Oh, that strawberry, they smell so good. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this is almost too tempting. I just gotta taste it. Mm, perfect. Mm. Of course, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to refrigerate this for about an hour. Okay? And then we'll finish the, of course, the filling for the shortcake. Right, well, just leave that here, and I'm going to show you how I make my shortcakes. All right? First of all, but you know what I forgot? I forgot my lemon juice in here. Oh, you know, getting old, I guess, but Lucy would disagree with that. Of course, the chef taught me how to do this. This is how you get lemon juice real easy out of a lemon. So, now, that'll keep those strawberries real pretty and shiny and fresh, and somehow lemon juice does enhance the flavor of strawberries. Okay. Now we're going to refrigerate these, okay? Very good. Of course, for the strawberry uh, shortcake itself, you mix up your regular flour and your cake flour. Mix it up together. Okay. Good. You have your baking powder and your sugar. You mix up all your dry ingredients first, okay? And again, a dab of salt. That helps the rising of them, I find. All righty. So, then of course, next is your butter. Of course, you can't, can't use anything that's really, really rich. Uh, if you can't, you can go ahead and use the uh, margarine. It's fine. Okay, very good. Now, okay. And I'm going to mix this together. Well, okay. Mix it very well, because this is your pastry. And you're going to add this to, of course, to the uh, floury board that I have. You're going to throw it on there and mix it up real good. And then speed it up a little bit, okay. The next ingredient is some whipping cream. Mm -hmm. Speed it up. We don't want to throw flour all over. Okay, good. Yeah. Woo. Oh, not flour, just cream. Okay. Very good, okay. Lower it a little bit. All right, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. You've got it just to this weight of where you can work. It's, it's like a dough now, of course, a cookie dough. And you can work it on your flour board, okay? Very good. Ooh, nasty. Well, not really nasty, just messy. Okay, now that I've made a complete big mess here, let me go over here and I'll show you how. I'm gonna pat this down, okay? 
Let's hope it worked. Let me put it over here. Get it out of my way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Work your dough up real nice. Okay. Yeah. All righty. And then you cut it with a cookie cutter. All right. You push it out. Yeah. Get the flour off. Put it in your baking dish. And I used to make a lot of cookies when my kids were growing up, but I just don't do that anymore. But I really like these shortcakes. I'll just put a few on the board here because, you know, for time element, I just really don't uh, have that much time to bake them today. Of course, I've got a solution to everything. Okay. Uh, especially when it comes to cooking. Okay, now if you have some left over, you pat it down, but you want your crust to be just a little bit, because you want it to rise and be able to fill up your, your shortcakes with those wonderful Louisiana strawberries. Okay, you round this off. You can use the rest of your dough. All right, got that done. Now next, of course, you want to bake these at 350 degrees for, oh well, until they're golden brown. But, you know, I don't have that much time to spend, so I've got my old faithful standby here. And that's what I'm going to be using. I have these wonderful little shortcakes that I have purchased at my local grocery. Now, top off the strawberries. You use the whipping cream that I have already whipped and added some sour cream to, okay? this out. Mix it all together. Mmm, man. I can't wait to eat this. I might just eat my dessert before I eat my, my main course. Okay, you mix it all together. Okay. And you fill up the cups. Fill up the cups here. Mmm, that's that special berry very, very special strawberry shortcake that I have. Of course, I put all this together myself, I guess, because I've been eating these in different restaurants, and I said, well, I know I can come up with a good recipe that's mine, even though they're not sharing theirs with me. So that's what I did. Okay, we've got a wonderful topping, and it's just beautiful, and there's one thing missing. Of course, you know what that is. It's a beautiful Louisiana strawberry. Just top that off. These are gorgeous. They're beautiful. So now that I have finished all my special dishes for my meal today, let's take a look at it. What a gorgeous meal. My unique but delicious strawberry soup served in my mama's bowl, which makes both of them very special. And then the roast beef a la carl, which is very delicate, but very delicious. And I always fix the Spanish Florentine with such an elegant meal, and also the green salad with vinaigrette. To top all this off, I like to serve the strawberry and cream shortcake. All these dishes can be prepared with luscious Louisiana strawberries, and I can't resist this. Mmm, c'est bon, chef. After fixing that delicious meal, I want to share a letter from one of my viewers, Dolores Hawkins in Lafayette, Louisiana. Dolores writes, there are no words that can describe how much I enjoy your show. The recipes are easy to follow and makes my mouth water every time I watch. Your show is a must on Saturday afternoon. I especially appreciate how you always use Louisiana products on your show. Each episode represents what abundant food sources are available in our state as well as the fine products. I would like to know in which recipe book can I find the strawberry pie a la Debbie. 
I have a friend that loves strawberries and I would love to have that recipe to make for her, especially now that the succulent strawberries are in season. She wants to learn to cook Cajun, so I thought I would make the pie and add the recipe book as a little incentive. Thanks again for making cooking look like fun. Dolores Hawkins from Lafayette. Well, Dolores, the answer to your question is that yes, the recipe for the strawberry pie la Debbie is in Miss Luce's Classic Cajun Culture and Cooking Cookbook. Thank you for watching. Mmm. Delicious. Three bon. <laughs>